Good day, my name is Alvinus Melius, and today I will be showing you how to implement a stack using a one dimensional array in the C programming language. Let's get started. All right, so what do we need to complete this? First, we need our data type. This is going to see what type of data, what elements are going to be in there. And we also need functions. We need several functions um, to be able to access, to be able to manipulate this stack. We'll begin with a data type. Okay, I'm assuming here that you know C. Um, if you know C, you recognize the const constant has been defined here with the value 5. that done we can move to start beginning our structure we're going to use a structure um, for short we say struct and we're going to give it a tag we're going to tag it as stack and then we added two elements we need we need our array which we will call s is of type integer so int let's say s And then we'll put the constant, which has a value 5. Then we need another integer. So we put our keyword again, int. And we're going to call this one top. It will hold the index for the top value of the array. Uh, let's change that. Let's call it constant instead. It's easier to remember what it holds. Okay, with that done, we want to now add a name. We're going to call it for short ST. Um, wait for when we have to reference this structure. And that's it. We move on to some of the other bits and pieces we need to take care of. And these are our functions. We need a few functions here. And we're going to start with a function to check if our array if our stack is full so we call it sd full and then we need a condition here let's go to uh, so we use conditional statement We want to see the check the value of stop against the value of our constant minus one. So if it's greater than or equal to um, that, then that means the stack is full. Um, so what we're we going to do? So minus one. Okay, we're going to return a value if that is true. We're going to return one. So we're using boolean values here, else we're going to return zero if it's false. So when this function checks, if the stack is full, it's going to return one. So that's how we're going to know it's full. Okay, so that's it for that function. So it checks it's a function that will return an integer. Um, let's add some comments. So check to see if the stack is full. All right, so that's one of our functions. We also need to do one to check to see if the stack is empty. As we add and remove, we want to know the status of the stack. And this function is going to be similar to the one we just did in it's going to be returning similar values. So since it has to return an integer, we have int and we name it st empty. Okay, as a function, then we need to put some mit inside of here. We're going to put another conditional statement again, just as in st full in our function to check if it was full. We will be testing top again to see whether it is 
equal to negative 1 because if it's equal to negative 1 it means our stack is empty and we're going to return 1 if this is true and 0 else 0 if this is false 0 semicolon and there we have it our is empty okay, so our next step is to add a function that will add items to the stack okay so we do we're going to be doing a push as we call it um, and since it will return not be returning a value we say void okay name the function push um, int item okay this is going to hold the item that is to be pushed on the top yeah, all right it's an integer remember our stack is holding five integers then sd which refers to our stack top okay so we increment top to indicate we're going to be putting one item on top of our stack and then we go content sd content sd stop top sorry and we put the item we assign the item to this element of the array <laughs> Okay, now we want to add a function um, this is the function that's going to remove items from the stack remember it's last in first out okay so an int again so this one is going to return the item that has been removed so this is why we're putting in we name it pop it's a function of course and now we want int item okay this is the item that will be specified so item is equal to the item that's at the top and we signify this okay st top so this references the element at the top of the array with the highest index value okay so st top we decrement this variable by one we means we, we we decreasing by one and then we return the item that has been removed the number that has been removed from our array of integers and so we have it our function to pop items from the stack now that you have completed this tutorial you should be able to implement a stack using a one dimensional array. Be sure to check back here for more tutorials to assist you in your computer science studies at the key.